It's our last little bit of Texas. Getting near the Texas-Arkansas border here. We left Paris this morning. Well, not really. You know, have you ever done a Southern Goodbye? Yeah. It took us a couple hours. <laughs> I don't know anybody's ever done a Southern Goodbye. It does take a little bit of time to get that done. But we are on our way. We left Paris before, lo before noon we left. <laughs> And so we're heading on to Arkansas today and just enjoying this little drive. We're trying to run from a storm. It's behind us and we're trying to beat it. See if we can get to... Oh, it's in front of us now? The storm is in front of us. Oh, There's never mind. One behind us now. Oh, we're in the middle. See? Yeah, we had a nasty storm all night last night. Oh, last night was awful. I have to tell you, it rained and it poured all night. Lightning thunder. thunder. Oh, one of the thunders with lightning was so loud, I jumped. I think I was a dead sleep and it woke me up. So that was kind of crazy. But um, just enjoying this drive. And um, the weather right now is really great. So having fun with this. We're outside of Detroit. Wait a minute. How did we get to Detroit? <laughs> Cooking on the farm. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate that. Hey, Boondocking with Boomer. Thanks for being here. Good morning. <laughs> so glad to have everybody here as we are leaving Texas. Hey, Catherine. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you being here. It's just a fun day. I hope everybody had a good view of the um, eclipse. Let me just tell you, it was a God thing because it was looked like this outside yesterday. And about 1.35-ish, the sky parted. We got our glasses on. We could see everybody. Hey, Robert, thanks for being here. And we saw the thing with our glasses on. And then during it, you could take your glasses off. And it was completely dark. You could hear the crickets. And it just was really cool. Yeah, my daughter said it was cloudy up there in Arlington, too. So, yeah, oh, that stinks. But we felt very blessed to get to experience it. We were there with our friends. And we had a good barbecue. We had brisket and ribs and tater salad and beans and them cookies and cow chip cookies okay hey i'm back hopefully nobody left <laughs> yes it was amazing hey james thanks for being here appreciate you coming in and saying howdy we are just driving we're gonna be in arkansas in a minute yeah, that does not sound good. Nah. We're about 50 miles out of, Ar uh, out of to almost Arkansas, yeah. Yeah, they had uh, all kind of stuff in them. They was, they was addicting, so she gave me some for the road. <laughs> they was good, good, good. I technically had one for breakfast because we, you know, a southern goodbye takes a long time. Probably about two and a half hours we said goodbye. <laughs> And so we got into RV and I was like, I didn't even eat breakfast. So I ate a it cookie. It was 1138, my cow chip cookie for my breakfast. But I just made us a sandwich right quick and we ate that before we went on live. Yeah, you have to try the new uh, uh, Mocha Java Oreos. Wow, I ain't heard of that. It's probably got coffee taste to it maybe, right? I don't know. I'm not a big coffee person, so... But, you know, Earl drinks it. He might drink it. I don't know. I just want to welcome everybody here. I hope you enjoy this. We're just kind of driving and seeing all the scenery. <laughs> Since I can't say train right. <laughs> yeah, Highway 82 out of Paris, Texas. So, yeah, we spent, we've been there all weekend with our friends. They spoiled us to death. I didn't, I mean, we didn't even cook one time. They cooked everything and we ate real good. So I had a real good time with them. Getting back to, you know, getting to know them real good again. We hadn't spent a lot of time with them. Usually we drop by and eat a meal and leave or something like that. But this time we got to spend some real good time with them. They let us. Mooch dock in their driveway, have full hookups. Yeah. Mooch docked in the driveway, full hookups. So it was real nice. Yeah, 50 amp. It was real nice. Yes. I know, nothing like good friends. I have to say that for sure. It was a real blessing. Um, they had a lot of places here in this area that were totally booked up for the eclipse at first. But then, um, I guess because it, the forecast said it was going to be not good, 
a lot of people went on to somewhere different. So they had more openings in Paris after the bit of the weather was going to be bad. But then the weather turned out nice. It didn't rain all day yesterday. It just said it was a cloud cleared during the whole eclipse. Yeah, they opened up. We was in a bad storm, though. Woo! And then now we're heading toward one, and one's behind us. So <laughs> we're hoping it's not too exciting today, right? <laughs> but we're just I'm ha um, gonna go, and this time we're gonna stay at the Cracker Barrel. We tried to get a Dadburn Campground, but they wanted sixty dollars for one night. And it's and it's, it's a gravel parking lot, and I'm like, I don't know. I think I can spend my money better than that. We mainly was just going to go there and, and, you know, get a good long shower or whatnot. But we're good. We'll make it. Because when we get to Tennessee, we don't have no water at our property right now because we had a water leak. And so we ain't sure when, <laughs> when we're going to get a good long shower again. <laughs> have to take them Navy showers. You know, turn it on, get wet, scrub. <laughs> yeah, we might go to Love's if it gets too bad. Because the Love's down the road from us a little piece. But hopefully it gets a water fix quite quick. Because I got a clawfoot tub at the house. I want to get in that thing. When you RV too long, you just want to get a bath every now and then. <laughs> but that's all, kind of what we're doing today. We're going to visit with his brother and sister-in-law today. We're going to have dinner with them tonight. And sit and talk. Yeah, in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. We get to go to Texarkana today. I want to stop one time and put one foot in Texas and one foot in Arkansas. We haven't been do that yet, but that's what I want to do sometime. We'll see if that ever happens, but kind of be fun, right? <laughs> to do that. Hope everybody's doing all right. We heard that Roy and Becky was still, you know, you know, mourning the loss of their baby, so they wasn't on today at noon. So we just popped in at this time, you know, to spend it with y'all. So y'all will have somebody to spend it with, right? <laughs> We've been praying for them. That's a hard thing to lose your baby dog. So we, we went through that last year and they were real supportive of us when we lost our babies. So we've been really trying to pray for them and support them. So it's been real good. We're just gonna, and Friday night though, we're gonna be live again. So y'all come up seven o'clock east. Oh no, what's it, seven o'clock central. We'll be on the live with them again. Because last time we had a little bit going on on Friday, on last past Friday night. We just got to our friend's house and well, we thought that'd be kind of rude. Hey, can we park in your lot? We're going to be gone for three hours. <laughs> so we decided. Oh, there's the welcome to Detroit sign. We're in Michigan now. That's quick. <laughs> it's a cute little old town though. Look at all that. It's real cute. I mean, we've had to have been through here before, but I don't remember it. Oh, we ain't never been through this way? Nope. Well, we never been through this way. <laughs> I know, isn't it adorable? I love little old towns. Old school. And the old Elementary school, school, the De Detroit Elementary right there. <laughs> they canceled school everywhere in Texas yesterday. Well, in this whole path, I know at least. Because, you know, they want the kids coming to school during that. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard losing your pets, I know. His name was Boots when you were, he was your semi-partner. I'm so sorry. It is just like, they're your, your family, like one of your kids. And it takes a long time to get over them. And my baby's in my lap right now. Oh, my little baby here. He's in my lap. That, when that one goes, I don't know how I'm gonna hold up. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard. I've had him since I could, he was, the minute he was born, been my little baby, so. <laughs> I don't even know. What's gonna happen, but, ooh, that's gonna be a hard road to hoe. His baby's sleeping on the rug down here. There he is, see him? He's having his nap. There's the navigator driver, I mean, I'm the navigator. He's over there driving us through here on one of these little back roads. We're going toward the 30. I don't like the Highway 30. The closer you get toward Memphis. Hey, Nosh, thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome busy and fast 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 and you're like what <laughs> but you know you gotta go there oh you have midnight she's 17 17 years wow that long time we just lost the dog last november 
November. Gosh, the time goes on it. Um, a year ago, November, and he um, was going to be 18 in December, but he had a stroke. The doctors said he had a stroke. And he couldn't eat or nothing. He was all curled up. And so we had to end up putting him down. It was very sad. Yes. Hey, hey. Welcome. Thank you for saying howdy. Make sure you hit that like button, everybody. <laughs> Tell everybody we're on today. Just share it out that we're here. <laughs> and we're having fun on the drive live. We are going to Arkadelphia, Arkansas. We're almost to the state line. We just left Detroit, Texas. <laughs> We're almost to the 30. We are the 31st and then we'll go and then we'll go to the um Yes. Oh, I thought we was only 50 from their house. No. Oh, 100 miles from their house. We mooch docked at some friend's house in Paris, Texas for the eclipse. And I'm um, telling everybody they spoiled us to death. Let me tell you what, we ate good. <laughs> Yesterday for the eclipse, we had brisket. He cooked it all night. He's got one of them egg, kind of green egg cooker things. He cooked it all night in that. And then he cooked ribs all morning. And then we had mashed tater, no, tater salad and beans and cookies and, and, uh, banana bread so that was right nice we sat around talking all day that's this morning we got up and got the car loaded and we went to talk for a bit and three hours later it was like well we better go <laughs> so we went on and got on the road so we can get over here to the cracker barrel yeah Did I, yeah come on over i got a little bit of brisket in the refrigerator <laughs> I got a couple cookies in the fr in, a, in there. Yeah, I didn't get none of the ribs though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of ribs left. They was so good. He makes his own barbecue sauce too, and it was really good. It had like a little bit of a bite to it, but it was just the right kind of bite. So we enjoyed that a lot. So we ate that, and then um, we just sat around talking the whole day. I had to work a little bit last night. And then um, went back to sitting and talking until bedtime. <laughs> so it was nice, you know, to be parked right there in the driveway. They got a nice spread. They got a pond full of catfish. And, you know, they got a bunch of ducks and geese that hang out there. It's super peaceful. We really, really loved how peaceful it was. And just enjoying ourselves, you know. And spend that time with them. Here comes a couple of RVs heading this way. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Some truckers. They're all heading toward Paris. <laughs> yeah, so this was a, this ain't too bad of a road. It's a little bumpy, but not too bad. We've been on worse. <laughs> yeah, so we're making the best of it. Look, historical marker, one mile on the right. We should pull over and read it. <laughs> I always tease him on that. Oh, there's a rest area right there. More looks like one a picnic area to me. Ain't no restroom. It ain't got no restrooms. <laughs> but you know, they got a lot of those little things in Texas, the little picnic areas. It's kind of good though for you to kind of rest a minute, catch your breath when you're driving, so you don't drive too long. But we'll stay on here for a little bit with y'all and kind of show you where we're at. And you can kind of get a look-see. If you can't make it out this way, you'll be able to see it. Well, that way it yeah, let's go that way. It looks nice over that way. <laughs> oh, hey, were we heading that way a little bit? We might get some clear sky for a little while. Not sure. Oh, look, somebody did stop to read on it. Look. Let's see what... Oh, they ain't reading it. I don't know what they're doing over there. Some kind of something in Texas happened there. They have a lot of those little markers. When you're driving around this state, you'll see that sign. Marker one mile ahead. We ain't never stopped at none of them. <laughs> I don't know how you find out what's what they say. Hey, hey, Ron, Daryl. Thanks for popping in. We appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. We are driving right now from Paris, Texas, and we're headed to Arkansas. Oh, look, Nosh said pull over. 
Yummy, yummy catfish. Yes, they had it all in their in their pond, but they do catch and release because they stock their own pond, so you can't eat on it. But, you know, they got good catfish. She told us a place there in Paris that's called Fish Fry. So if you're ever in Paris, go to Fish Fry, but they're only open. The sign said Sunday, Monday. They told us weekends, but on their sign it said Sunday, Monday. But she said that's the best catfish in town. Hey, Mel and Nettie. Welcome, welcome. Do you ever wave at the RV? Yeah, Earl waves at them a lot of times when they're coming by. Yeah, the RVs. Yeah, oh, y'all, oops, I saw, I didn't, it's okay. <laughs> You're excited to be here. That's what's happened when you, miss, when you misspell something. Something got you excited. Listen, I never did see their cat, Nettie. I wanted to get a picture on it for you, but she sent me a picture. I'll send it to you. Their kitty cat's name is Jazzy. It's a little Siamese cat. I told them they ain't have no cat. <laughs> we ain't never see that cat. She told me this morning it was up in the sewing room sitting in the hammock. So I snuck up there. It wasn't in that hammock. <laughs> you coming to my country? <laughs> Where's your country at? Oh, you live in... Um, you live in Arkansas? We're heading to Arkansas. <laughs> we're gonna spend a minute there. And then we're gonna head to Tennessee. Tennessee, yes. Hey, hey, James. Yeah, big wave. Like the wind window wipers so they can see me. And sometimes they wave back. Yeah, we've had some people wave back at us. It's been kind of fun. No, it's a real short travel day. Look, Nettie. We, we got up this morning and loaded up the RV and, you know, we went and did a southern goodbye. It took us three hours. Three hours to say goodbye. <laughs> Another historical marker coming up, see? But it took us three hours to say goodbye. Finally, they was like, y'all right, can get out of here. <laughs> hey, Ringo, thanks for being here. Appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. We appreciate everyone popping in today and spending a little bit of time with us. But yeah, we got out the house late. We didn't get out till near about 11.30. And I ain't even had no breakfast, so I ate one of them cowboy cookies. From... Yeah, it's only 180 miles today. And we're staying at a Cracker Barrel, yeah. To visit with his brother and sister-in-law. Yeah, we're having dinner with them. At the Cracker Barrel, so it makes it easy on everybody. But yeah, so we got out late because we were saying goodbye too long. So we're going to try to get us a job here in Texas in the fall. We put on our application we want to be down in the winter. Yeah, come down, in, but it'll be November, and work down here in southern Texas for the winter. Uh, you'll eat good later. We did. We've been eating good. Yeah, Cracker Barrel is so yummy. We ate good all weekend. These people spoiled the snot out of us. I did not cook one thing. I had like two dishes in the sink from the whole weekend. We ate steaks and burgers and the best, the best waffles ever. Then he made this, I thought it was weird, but oxtail soup with cornbread. It was so good though. And then the roaster chicken, roaster chicken. I don't know how to say that word. Rotisserie. Rotisserie chicken. I can't never say that word. Rotisserie chicken. It was so good. And then yesterday we had that brisket and ribs. So we ate so good, but today we didn't eat breakfast. We forgot. <laughs> well, Dad ate. You ate breakfast. He had the muffins. You know, I make these little muffins and put them in Ziploc bags. Little mini muffins. He ate those. But I didn't eat. I had that cookie at <laughs> 11:30. <had> <laughs> so before we went on live, I went ahead and made us some sandwiches, and we ate those. So, yeah, Mel, I got a sandwich on the road. He got a sandwich on the road. Yeah, I stood back here cooking. And, I'm cooking, but I'm fixing the sandwich. <laughs> I can't believe I said I was cooking it. Do you want Dan? You want to go up here? Cause you can't sit still. He's gonna navigate for us. Oh, we just made. I just made a bologna sandwich right quick. I don't got a lot of sandwich meat in there, but he, they gave us brisket to eat. But I wanted to warm it up, put barbecue on it, and so we're gonna have that later, probably tomorrow, cause we're gonna go to a harvest house tomorrow. We're staying at a distillery outside of jack or inside jackson tennessee and so we'll give y'all a little shot of that tomorrow so you can see it and then um that'll be fun right you can see what it looks like at the distillery and we'll try that out and then because it's just too much of a drive from his brother's house to our house 
I mean, we could do it in a car, no problem, but in an RV, it's just a lot on Earl and just want him to rest. Oh, look, there's a Clarksville, Texas. We have a Clarksville in Tennessee. It's historic, gateway to Texas, it says. <laughs> Too cute. Maybe it'll be cute. Oh, we ain't going through it, are we? Nope, we're, turning we're turning left. We don't get to see Clarksville. His GPS don't talk to him. One trucker app would not even take us to our friend's house. Well, I thought maybe trucks ain't allowed on that road. I don't know. <laughs> so we had to use a different trucker app. Good thing you got more of them, right? Now it's talking after I turn. Yes. We'll get to, wow, we're 39 miles from Interstate 30. How many? 39. 39 miles from the interstate right now. We're heading toward the clear skies. Yeah, look at them clear skies ahead. I'm trying to get my chat to come back up because I missed some chat and I can't get it to come back up. So I'm a little distracted because I missed some stuff in here. All right, I read that one. I know, really long goodbyes. That's what we do, you know. Because we, uh, we saw them last year in July, but we only came and ate dinner with them. That was it. We was going to steal Richard and take him with us and put him in our suitcase because he is such a good cook. Yeah, three hours to say goodbye. I don't know. Oh, it's so hard. And, um, yeah, that was a sandwich. I, mean, I would not make Mel a sandwich on the road. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting the spring. I thought we was going to clear skies. What happened? Well, it's getting gray. It right. turned back. Dang it. All right, I think I'm kind of. So you're halfway there? Probably halfway there about, right? Baloney salmon. It's, uh, yeah, I'm full of baloney. I'm definitely full of baloney. Are you? Always full of baloney, right? Timmy Ray, hey, welcome. Thanks for popping in. We are um, heading to Arkansas. It's our last day in Texas. If y'all don't know, Texas is like our second favorite state. We love Texas. We love spending time here and meeting people. Usually we met some of the neatest people at the little um, party we had for Lips, you know, and really enjoyed talking to them and meeting with them. All the women folk went in one spot and all the men folk went in another. We spent a little bit of time up in the craft room. You know, she's got an amazing craft room. And then we sat down at the table for a bit. Our video. Yeah, we sat in the craft room watching YouTube of us, you know, our channel. So she's got it running. I went there a day to look for that cat that she says she's got. And we was on TV upstairs. <laughs> so she's supposed to pop in Friday night for our live. So in the chat, I think Nettie dropped the link. But um, please join us Friday night for the live. We're back on again with everybody at 7 Central. So please join us. We're going to have lots of fun. You know, getting our trivia on. And I got an amazing word for Friday night. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you better come on over. Oh, you lived in Fort Worth? We went to Fort Worth uh, about two weeks ago, a bit. A week or two ago. We went over there. For, I'd never really been really in Fort Worth, so it was kind of neat. We just was on the freeway, though. So, But we went, to the, we went to the commissary at the base over there. They got a Navy base there, yes. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. 12 in the chat. Hit the thumb up. Yeah, four of y'all ain't hit the thumb up yet. It's raining in Louisiana. We ain't coming that far. Yeah, you see the wipers going now. Yeah. We're all doing pretty good, Timmy Ray. We feel very blessed. We got to see the eclipse yesterday and experience that. That was just so amazing. It got completely dark. You know, I've just never seen anything like that. I just felt very blessed. It cleared up. I'd be in Dallas area in October and camping and see my daughter. Oh, fun, James. We're trying to get down back to Texas November time frame. Because we're going to be in North Dakota till the end of October. We got to do the um, sugar beet harvest. And then we're going to come down that way. We're trying to find a job. Because I want to save up a bunch of money so I, when I go to see my kids this next year, we don't have to work. So I can hopefully save up some money. In Michigan, it's sunny and 65. Wow. Uh, yeah. And Louisiana didn't get to see the clips because it was raining. I'm sorry. It was really neat. 
We had the look. Uh, we had some video footage. If Earl can put it together in a video, we're gonna put a video out on it on Sunday. So be in the looks for that because we videotaped as much as we could. Be on the looks. Be on the looks for it. He likes to make fun of me when I talk. <laughs> Seventy-two in Pennsylvania. What? That sounds sweet. It's been real warm though in Texas. What was it yesterday? Yeah, it's been pretty warm. Is that maybe in the eighties? Yeah, so I turned the AC on in the RV. Hey, I got a lot of thumbs up now. Thank you so much. We really appreciate everybody that supports We're us. We're 63 today. They said it was going to cool off a bit. It's supposed to be rainy. Rainy, and it said it was going to cool off a bit. Because I was walking the dog and this morning right early, and it was a little chilly. Ooh. Our dogs got so spoiled there. We'd let them out, and they'd run around to the backyard. They knew where to go. And now I'm on leash or nothing, right? They just run over there. <laughs> Itty bitty fell in love with one dog and Bear fell in love with another one. And they <laughs> so this morning they wanted to run around there and I said, we ain't going over there today. We're just going potty. <laughs> yeah, they had a tornado hit them a few years back. Two years ago. Two years ago it took out their favorite tree and a bunch of trees. I think they said 50, 60 trees took out and it damaged their roof. Had to yeah, they replaced the roof on their house. And now she said it's right open where before you couldn't really see good around and now you can see through there a lot. But yeah, so kind of sad. Yeah, 30 something trees. I thought it was 50, but 30 something trees they lost. Yeah, 37 or I was thinking he said. I don't know. He told us, but you know, I can't remember. I'm old. <laughs> I try to remember. Hopefully everybody can see good with the rain. We have a little tornado safe room in the house. Oh yeah, they have a tornado set room in the house, yeah. PVS Odyssey, yeah, I get it. Just listen. We are driving to we're almost to, to Arkansas. It's our last day in Texas. So kind of sad. We had so much fun here. I mean we've been here since March. Beginning of March, ain't it? We've been here a long time. Yeah, we come. I don't know. We've been here a long time. We love this state, though. At least a month. Yeah, a month and a half. Yeah. We really love it. So we have lots of great friends in Texas. Yes. Arkansas today, Tennessee tomorrow. Yeah, Arkansas today, Tennessee tomorrow. And we're going to rest a minute and get some things fixed up at the house. We got a water lake, and we got to try to figure out where that's at so I can take me a bath in my clawfoot tub. <laughs> and my little if you haven't seen our video on our little cabin that we bought there's a video oh yeah you gotta go the, you gotta eat, wait a minute let me read that again because you know these comments they don't stay up for me hold on a second all right please keep me in your prayers it's timmy right because i go to the er last went to er last night because my blood and my eyes and high blood pressure oh, wow. but i feel a lot better now yes we will be praying for you i'm so sorry yeah, we knew you wasn't feeling bad. We've been kind of lifting you up, so we'll keep on praying for you. It's just so hard when your health goes. So, you know, just keep on trucking and <laughs> take a rest. Yeah, so we praying that it gets better. Weather's going to get bad this afternoon, I know. It's going to be right bad, so we were hoping to get... Now, we're hoping what's in front of us goes out the way and we're parked before this behind us gets to us. <laughs> yeah, last night was bad. A light, thunder hit. I don't know what time it was, but midnight it. Till about six, it was nonstop yeah. Lightning, yeah, midnight to see. But it, that one hit in the middle of the night, it, I mean, I awoke wide up. I thought it struck a, a tree. Yeah, we thought it was hit a tree. It sounded like a big loud crack. I woke straight up and then didn't hear nothing else. It was just raining. We was parked by their barn. They got a barn dominium. You know, they keep their RV in when it's there. Their RV right now is down in Port Aranis. They, they, they have a little place in Port Aranis. The RV spot's got the 50 amp hookup. It has a sewer in it where you can hook up the sewer. Yeah. And of course, they have a water hose. A water hose. It's hookup. Yeah. We hook up the sewer, but we could have if we wanted to. Yeah, we could have hooked up to their sewer, but we just had the water and electric. And, but it would, they got to set up sweet. But they have their RV down in Port Aranis right now because they're going to go back. I think next, the, week. next week they're heading back and they'll be there for a little while and come back for she said they have to come back in May or something. something. Her mama stays at their house when they're gone. And so to watch their house. 
She's her, her mom is in her 90s and still real functional. I said, that's pretty good. She watches over everything, and then um, they'll come back, and then I guess Memorial Weekend, all their kids and grandkids is coming down to Port Aranis to spend time with them. And then I think they come back this way in June, and they'll bring the RV back. They don't leave their RV in the summer. They rent the, their little site out in the summer, I think she said. It's too hot for them down there. But they're just really good friends. We met them on a cruise, and so, and a Europe cruise. I've just been really good connected to them ever since. Yeah, we'll be home in Tennessee to, to, uh, No, yeah, next day, day after tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna spend the night in uh, at a in Jackson, Tennessee, at a distillery and at a Harvest Host. And so that'll be a nice little stopover, and we'll try to get some footage of that for y'all. And then we'll be in Tennessee the next day. What day? I think that's Thursday, right? Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> I know, I don't even know. But yeah, we did that on purpose because we wanted a short drive from Jackson. Yeah. Because we got, the first thing we got to do is try to fix our water. Yeah, pool. we made it a short drive. It's a really short drive from Jackson to our house, but we needed, it's too long of a drive, really, where you out to do it one day. But we get to Tennessee, you know, midday, and we'll be able to go ahead and fix that water, we hope, that day. If Earl needs anything, he can run over to the store and get it and fix it. We hope it's that easy. We'll find out though. You know, we'll see. we're praying. Y'all pray for that. It's an easy fix. <laughs> easy, cheap fix. How far is it? Oh, for, oh, from Jamestown? We're a minute from Jamestown. Yeah, am I saying Port Aranis wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She making fun of the way no, I say Port Aranis. Yeah, she says four day. I could do that, yeah. <laughs> Nettie's making fun of the way I say it. Well, then I just learned out I'm saying Corsicana wrong, Corsicana something. I'm saying it wrong, too. <laughs> um, we're real close to Jamestown, though. It's just a minute away. I don't even think. Half hour. Half hour at the most. At the most. Only reason it's long is it's windy roads. That's the only reason it takes you a little while. I know how we meet people in different places. I know. I just love it. Yeah. Yeah. James has Northeast Cookville and Northwest of Cookville. But yeah, her, uh, Naj's aunt's in her early 90s. And they do, yeah, she does everything for herself. She's got a little place on her own and everything. But she just comes and stays at the house. They got a really old dog. It's the same age as our dog, 14, 14. But, but she just has a little bit of breathing trouble and they don't travel with her a lot. And so they leave the, her mama watches the dog and the cat stays there sometimes too. Sometimes they bring both of them, sometimes they don't. But this time I think they're leaving both of them. And the, yeah, and the going to Waco oh yeah, they're gonna go to Waco and visit. They got their grandkids is in Waco. They're gonna visit on their grandkids in Waco before they go down to Port A. <laughs> I better say Port A. So I say it right, right? It's like train, I can't say train no more. I have to say scenery. <laughs> Too funny. I know James owns a whole town. I know, right? Yeah, I'm gonna leave on here at at one o'clock today. One o'clock, we're gonna leave off here. We kind of filled in for you know Roy Mickey's time frame. I looked to see, and I didn't see them saying they was coming up. So I said, well, I'm gonna hop on their time because my plan was to be on at eleven to twelve, but you know we didn't get out the house. <laughs> we did that three hour. Good Bye. And talk and. Eight thirty nine. We get ready to leave. We'll leave till ten. <laughs> yeah, we left ten. <laughs> we were like, okay, we're gonna leave at eight thirty night. We didn't leave no to eight thirty. I don't know why we say we're gonna leave at eight thirty. <laughs> but we sit and talk. They're just so easy to talk to, and you know, it's just fun. Just learn a lot more about them. Yeah, drink a little wine one day and and two days. Two days. Yeah, two days. Because we had a little bottle of port that we got from Washington State. We shared with them. And then we had gone to a winery in Italy with them. I mean, this is 10 years ago near about, ain't it? Eight years ago? Yeah. Eight years ago because I had cancer 10. So eight about eight years ago. 2016, we went to a winery over there. And they had the wine. They had one bottle left they saved to have with us. So we drank that the first night. And then last night we had that port. 
So it was just kind of nice. And then uh, their daughter-in-law brought yesterday, it's on my Facebook, if you're on the Facebook, uh, bottle Eclipse Bubbly, champagne-like. And it was good. I don't really like champagne, but it was good. I had a glass of that yesterday, you know, to celebrate the Eclipse. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Earl celebrated with a couple beers, so it wasn't too bad. Just relaxing and talking about stuff. He just got an old truck, a 60 what? 72. Oh, 72 Chevrolet truck. Completely, completely renewed. Oh, my word. Brand new engine. Paint job is immaculate. Yeah, re yeah rebuilt the transmission rear end. He's almost got the grill done. Oh, look at these cars right here, y'all. Look at that. Ain't that right cute? <laughs> Looks like it's off that one movie. What was that movie called? Cars. Cars? Yes. The grandbabies used to be into that. Yes. That was cute. <laughs> Glad I could share that with y'all. Little eyeballs on it. I started to order that for Maynard. I thought Maynard looked, yeah, Mel said, and then he said cars, yeah. I started to order them eyeballs. There's some horses over there. I started to order them eyeballs for uh, Maynard, you know, because we have the Magna Shade, but it was a lot more dollars to get a picture on that. And I'm like, nah, we'll just get a plain one. <laughs> I'll just stick some eyeballs on it. Look, is there a town called English, Texas? <laughs> I think Texas likes to steal things from other people. Oh, in New Boston. Hey, Misha, thanks for being here. I, how many original names are in Texas? They be stealing names from everybody else. <laughs> yeah, New Boston. We turn in 23 miles. We're getting on the interstate. And we'll be on the interstate 30 until we hit the 40 in Little Rock. We'll switch on to the 40. And all the way home the 40, and then we get on them little back roads. Windy, windy back roads. That's what takes so long. And you know, as a crow flies, it's five minutes, but you drive the car and it's like an hour. <laughs> Woo, yes. Good afternoon. Mel and Nettie, yes. We're just enjoying ourselves on our little trek today. If you're just popping in, we're on our way to Arkansas. It's our last little time in Texas. I'm sad to leave Texas. <laughs> They're very proud of their state, too. I like that. To be proud of something so much you know so that's a great thing and we have so many friends here in texas so we love it so each region i think we got somebody we can go visit on pretty much <laughs> almost there's a couple of spots we don't know nobody in the panhandle we don't know nobody in the panhandle <laughs> shoot but if you're ever in um amarillo though i'm gonna just tell you Oh, you'll be in Arkansas in a couple of weeks. How fun. Whereabouts you going? I hope not. A, oh, it's not a Ford. I got a 383 stock motor in the truck. He's got a... It's a, I don't, it's a Chevy, but he told me the engine size. I ain't remember. It's a brand, brand new engine, but I can't remember what it was. It looked pretty, though. I'm just going to say. We saw it when he picked it up. Yeah, it was in pieces when he got it. And the guy had done a lot of the body work too. It got the dents out and whatnot. But he didn't have to do a lot of that. He, that's, he retired. He owned the body shop. Yeah, he owned a body shop, right? And that's what he did. And now his son owns the body shop. So he got snuck in there to finish painting it. Oh, Harrison and Fairfield Bay. That'll be fun. I don't know where Harrison's at. Earl does. He spent a lot more time in Arkansas than me. Yeah, five minutes as <laughs> crow flies. Wow, crow must be using <laughs> nitro. <laughs> I know, right? Using the nitro. <laughs> I know, but you can say it'll say, oh, it's only 50 miles. You think that's going to take you an hour? No, it takes you three hours. <laughs> it's crazy. The old gas station. Little Johnny's evac excavation. I can't read. Excavation. excavation. <laughs> Oh, family dollar. There you go if you need anything. <laughs> we did find out. We went to a dollar store in Texas, and I'm going to tell you, it was way cheaper than the one at Quartzsite. I was like, oh, these are like back to normal prices. I think Quartzsite's got some kind of monopoly or something on their prices. Yeah. 
Chee-wee. So glad everybody could spend the little afternoon time with us and help us watch this rain come in and see the travels. I know we lost that clear sky scone. <laughs> but we're just enjoying this and spending time with all of y'all and giving y'all something to do during your day. It's always good to have something to connect to. We enjoy watching all of y'all, so this is fun. Oh, you're cleaning the bathrooms. All right, well, come on over. <laughs> I didn't clean them right good yesterday. So maybe tomorrow I'll get them cleaned up good or tonight, I don't know. <laughs> When we're on the road and don't we go to the, these overnights, I just use uh, the Lysol wipes, you know, and just wipe them down that way. Because, you know, I ain't got no water or nothing. So I just wipe them down with the Lysol wipes. It's right quick. And even when we're somewhere about, you know, some days I just do that in between cleanings. Just it's easy and quick, you know, so it's kind of clean and sanitized. So... But I didn't do that this time. So you can come over and clean mine. <laughs> I was busy spending three hours saying goodbye to my friends. <laughs> and we stayed there so late last night. It said, Earl was on the phone. This was funny. It said, the rain's coming in nine minutes. <laughs> so we said, oh, we better go. We got to still walk the dogs. So we left with nine minutes. And sure enough, we was out with the dogs and it started getting rain, but not bad. It started sprinkling. It started sprinkling. We was going back with the dog and started sprinkling. I said, dang, that's pretty good about saying when it's going to rain. <laughs> we got in the house and it was raining pretty good. Yeah, and for a long night, it's going to probably rain to good tonight. The only thing I like about the rain in the RV is I like to listen to it on the roof, right? But other than that, I'm nervous if it's thunder and lightning, so it's harder to sleep. And I guess the power went out at their house. When their power goes out, their Alexa turns on all their lights so they know the power's out. But we got that lithium now. We don't even notice it that the power goes out. So we just kept on sleeping. <laughs> Didn't bug us none. I, you know how I knew too was when I went up, I had the, on a, my computer, I had our channel running on my computer and it had stopped working. It had um, kicked it out of the program. Oh, it does look a little heavier up ahead. Where that car's coming through at. I got a video one time in Arkansas. It was raining so hard we couldn't even see the road. I took it to Cindy's sister-in-law because she knew we was coming or going. I can't remember which one, but it was raining its tail off. I just don't even know. Yeah, it makes it a little hard for y'all to enjoy the view when it's raining like that. When is world rest? PVM is world wrestling blog. We had to know who won the WrestleMania. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's just on um, yesterday. We live for about a half hour because we didn't think we was going to get to see the dad burn eclipse because it was a cloudy. So we only did a half hour, but that was good. We got off and we got to Earl got to eat, and we got to spend some time with our friends and experience the eclipse, so it was amazing. So a half hour was good, but if you didn't get it, you can watch that rerun of it. You know, we got reruns on our channel, so anytime you miss something, you can go do the rerun and check it out. That's what I'm saying about watching about our cabin. There's a couple of videos on our little, we got a little hunting cabin. It ain't much, but it's perfect for us, and um, you can watch it. World Wrestling Vlog is a YouTube channel. It's called World Wrestling Vlog. Earl's going to have to check that out because he loves wrestling. Yeah, he'll have to look that up and see about it. See if that's something he'd be interested in, you know. Oh, there's an the old building. That to fall apart. Yeah, Jesus is the answer. I like that. Amen. So we're just like enjoying this time. Having fun. Just checking it out. Praying for the weather to stay. I mean, this is rain, but it ain't nothing bad yet. So we're praying that it stays like this. We don't like rainy travel days. And guess what? I washed Daisy May. That's my car. I washed Daisy May the other day because she had been sitting on them trees at Tewakini. Oh, she had this sandy junk on her. 
So we paid $8 to have her car wash done on her. But now look, it's raining on her. It's probably mud kicking up on her. She'll be nasty. You can see her in the screen. There she is. There's my Daisy May. We keep her in the screen so we can, you know, keep on make sure she don't fall off or nothing. <laughs> and we call her trailer High Ho Silver. She's got High Ho Silver she rides on. That's her horse. <laughs> we take her where we need to go. That's our little baby car. <laughs> but, um, I, she looks white right now. <laughs> but if she won't, what happens is, it should be wet and then it gets dry and the dirt just sticks to her or something. I don't know. Yeah, we kick up dirt when we drive. We don't have those little flappy things. And we don't have that little front shield. Oh, look, Timmy Ray's going to take over the World Wrestling Channel. <laughs> if they don't return, that'd be funny. <laughs> You can have guest speakers. Say, hey, we're going to come on your channel and be your guest speaker <laughs> till y'all are ready to put some more up. <laughs> Shoot, doggies. And listen, we's right close to getting uh, to our 3,000 watch hours, okay? So please, please, please watch some of our videos or some of our lives. That would help us so much, and we appreciate it. Beyond anything that we can just um, say... Yeah, still slightly over 300. So we thought we were going to go under 3,000 today. We thought we'd go under, but we didn't. But yeah, we're going to keep on trekking, though, right? All right, PBS, it's not mine. <laughs> I know you'd have to talk to the owner of it, see if they let you hijack it or something. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, the road is, you can see how they put them little band aids on it. It's making the roads a little rougher. We don't like that, but you know, much you can do, but drive on it, right? <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna be at that freeway in just a bit. I don't know how much more you'll see. We'll be off here in a little while. We're at, how you say that one? Deal Cow? Decalb? Decalb? I see, I wouldn't have said it that way. <laughs> I don't even talk right for a sudden, or I can't even say these names right. Because we're staying in this little part of, um, it's not really Arkadelphia, it's K I call it Cato, but it's called Caddo. Caddo, isn't it called Caddo, Earl? I think, I say it wrong. My sister-in-law told me I say it wrong. Look, I'm a southerner, can't even talk right. I thought I had a double name, but I don't. Oh, you screwed up for nothing. <laughs> Waste of your energy. It didn't. I was gonna get my little stick today for this live. I got a little, what do you call that thing? A selfie stick. So I wouldn't have to sit and hold my phone, but I forgot it. I'm gonna get it out maybe next time I do a live. I just gotta remember where I took it at. <laughs> cause it's not with my camera stuff. Cause I don't use it very often. I had a good selfie stick that, you know, where you could push the button and do stuff. But now I just got one and I got no function to my phone. So it ain't that great. I can't push it way up and take a picture. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you a story, Misha, now here. Listen here, I taught in Washington State, all right? And I taught first graders how to read. <laughs> and I read these books, because as Joy Kelly writes these really great books to help children learn how to read. And the one of the main characters in a lot of them is Miss Wishy Washy, okay? And so um, every time I read is Miss Wishy Washy. Well, the kids would sit and reread it in their centers, and my boss come in there, and here they are reading it, and they're saying, Miss Wishy Worshy. <laughs> and she goes, You done messed them babies up. <laughs> oh, Big Daddy's Donuts. Big Daddy Donuts. What? It's <laughs> a funny name, Big Daddy Donuts. They close. They, donut shops here close at noon. <laughs> they close early. If you want a donut, you got to get in the morning. But I taught them how to talk too funny. <laughs> But then it would be funny. Some of the kids would come in and try to teach me how to say it the right way. They say, Miss Wright, you're saying that wrong. <laughs> and so they try to teach me how to say it right. And I can say it right if I think on it a minute, right? I can go, okay, look, I can't even do it right now. Say it real for me. How do you say washy? Washy. Washy. See, I have to hear somebody say it, and then I can do I don't come natural to me. So, so they was being trying to teach me how to say it right. <laughs> Every now and then, kids would teach me and I would teach them. Sonic. Oh, 
push hog. Yeah, Sonics. It ain't happy hour yet. You can get it. Your drink's half price, you know, on happy hour. Yeah, here comes the DG Market. <laughs> if you want to go get some. Yeah, it's a two-way street, right? <laughs> she doggies, yeah. The old shops here. The Rockin' something. Rockin' K. Rockin K. <laughs> Yeah, Texor can at 34 miles. <laughs> That's on the bucket list. I just have to tell you to put one foot in Arkansas, one foot in Texas. I don't want to stand on that line. We've driven through there quite a few times, but usually ain't able to stop or nothing. 112 miles to go today. But I don't want to stop in no rain and do it. I ain't got no raincoat. Well, I do have a raincoat, don't I? I think I got a raincoat. I ain't got no umbrella. <laughs> Shoo, doggies. But yeah, just enjoying this. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Getting everything done that you need to do. So, you know, you got a, your busy world going on out there. Talk about Mid-South Wrestling. Oh, yeah, you'd have to talk about Mid-South Wrestling because, yes, you know, Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler, I'm going to tell you what. One of my first dates with Earl was to wrestle at the Mid Russell Yeah, Kurt Russell Lance but we went to the Mid South Coliseum. Jimmy, what was his name? You know, the Mouth of South? Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart, Mouth of South. I mean you know, that's what I remember. That was our first one of our first dates was to go to wrestling. <laughs> Monday night wrestling, yes. Yeah, I pray Becky's doing all right too, yes. We've been praying for them. Oh, yeah, you, Earl scooted over and the people behind us don't want to pass. He ain't passing. We, too late. Too bad. Yeah, too bad. So sad, right? <laughs> I don't know either. I ain't seen a sign yet. I apologize if it's really loud with the rain, y'all. We apologize. It's a good rain now, so if it's too much for you, I just understand if you got to pull out or whatever. Now he's going to pass us. <laughs> he just wanted you to go fast, so he'd have to go fast around you. Yeah. There's the yellow sign right there under. You're going to lose it right there. Is he going to get around you? He's coming now. Oh, it's like a little RV van. The, oh, the, what's that one? I don't know. That ain't really a cop, though, is it? Oh, that's weird lighting. I don't know. The Cowboy Church. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, still can't say the name of this town. DeKalb? DeKalb? I don't know. DeKalb. <laughs> it's the vowels I have trouble with, y'all. I can't do vowels right. Ernest, do you know that Ernest the Cat Lad is from Louisiana? Did you know that? Ernest, let me see what it said again. I got to pop it back up. It, your chat don't stay on with you. Uh... Uh, Ernest the Cat Lad is from Louisiana. Awesome. And then somebody said something else. My chat disappeared again. Uh, it's technically Caddo. It's Arkadelphia, but the Cracker Barrel right there. That's where we're staying. For the on the cob, for the Ford on the cob. <laughs> Too funny. Woo. Yeah, I tried to read all that. Like, <laughs> too funny. But yeah, we just like gonna spend the night there and have Cracker Barrel with his brother and sister and all. That's why we picked that town because they're there. And we like to see them anytime we pass through. You know, life's short. You got to spend time with people that you love. So we try to see them about once a year at least because we're usually coming or going <laughs> one way or the other. So we'll go see them. We may not see them next year. I don't know. We don't know how that's going to pan out yet because we want to go my granddaughter graduates and she's in california the spring of 25 so we got to be that way 
That's why we're trying to work this next winter to make some money so we can just spend time with them. We depleted our piggy bank. <laughs> it's crying now. It wants some money in it. <laughs> so we're trying to put some money back in it. <laughs> so we're doing a little bit of work to get that all caught up. So, you know, you have to have that kind of stuff in the bank before you can just stop doing stuff. But I appreciate everybody spending some time with us. We're going to be on for just a few more minutes. I'm going to try to make it to the 60 because Earl got on to me last time. I had like 59 minutes and 58 seconds or something. <laughs> he goes, you didn't even stay on a whole hour. <laughs> he gave me a hard time on that. So I'm going to try to make it to the whole hour, y'all. <laughs> Just for Earl. Four miles, oh, Ernest the Cat was born in Louisiana and raised in Orange, Texas, where he was a high school football and basketball star. His football coach was Willie Ray Smith, the father of NFL. Wow. And then Dan Blocker Cartwright was from DeKalb, Texas, and Nick, Ricky Nelson's plane crashed close to here. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, give it 10 extra minutes. <laughs> You're funny, I know, right? Be like, oh, I went over. <laughs> That'd be too much. You'd be like, wait, you didn't even do an hour, you did an hour 10 minutes. He'd find something on that. Hey, you feel better now you had your shower? <laughs> Hope you feel clean now. You can come here and have a shower. Just stick your head out the window. Get all cleaned up. Get your shampoo. You know, get your hair wet, just shampoo, stick your hair back out the window and rinse it off. <laughs> I'm glad you feel better. I had to do one of them Navy showers this morning. I wasn't feeling good. I was like, let me hop in right quick. I mean, we could have went and showered in our friend's house, but we just didn't feel like that was okay, you know. <laughs> They'd already fed us every day. <laughs> yeah, they wanted us to sleep in there last night because they was worried about us in the storm. They got a cute little bedroom. She makes quilts. I mean, some of the best quilts I've ever seen. And she had one on the bed. I said, if I sleep in there, that quilt might disappear. <laughs> you can tell I know my wrestling. I can tell you know it. Earl knows a lot, too. But I don't know if he knows all those people. But Yes, do that thumbs up. <laughs> you had 10 minutes to make up for the missing minutes. No, shit. <laughs> Yeah. Two miles to the interstate. Two miles interstate. Well, at least get y'all to the interstate. How about that? <laughs> we'll see what time it is. Yes. You, Timmy Ray, you and Earl could have a little conversation about wrestling. We last night got back. It was last night got back. One night this week because we were staying over till 10 o'clock. You know, we was going to leave at 830, but we stayed till 10. <laughs> and we was in the park in the driveway, so it wasn't like we had to go far. But Earl turned on wrestling. We was trying to see all who won all the WrestleMania stuff, you know, and what's going on. My Becky Lynch lost. I was mad on that. But I was glad that one, what's his name? What lost? Yeah, Co Reigns. yeah, Roman Reigns lost. He's held that too long. He got to being too cocky. And Cody Rhodes, you know, we remember all his family and everything. I was happy he won. You know, that's wrestling for anybody who ain't been watching wrestling. <laughs> I say that wrong too. I learned that in Washington State. They were like, what? And I said, wrestling. Yeah, they say it a different way. I don't, can't remember how they say it, but they don't say it like me. <laughs> so it's different. Oh, red light. Yeah, wrestling. Oh, now screen. I can see the love sign, so we close the freeway. And gas done went up, y'all. It was under $3, and now it's over $3. Yeah, wrestling. See? That's why I said I can see that sign, so I knew we was close. I hope y'all ain't making fun of me for the way I say wrestling. I don't care. <laughs> I gave up caring about that. I know. I gave up on caring. They're, they're spelling it out or how to spell wrestling. <laughs> see, Misha Lee's grandma said it like me, too. <laughs> she doggies. But that's something we watch together, wrestling. He watches my general hospital with me. And I watch wrestling with him. Yes, that's kind of what we are. You know what we do. Yeah, so you can see we're up here at the freeway. So we're going to get off here, all right? I hope all of y'all have a wonderful day. I hope your weather's panning out better than ours, you know? 
And I appreciate y'all spending some time with us and making me laugh, and I enjoy it so much. Say bye, Earl. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, and Leary, I don't know. Are we in Leary? Eddie, you going to say bye? Uh, no. We're in, We're in New Boston. Biddy, say bye. Sleeping on his pawpaw bear, shoes. Bear. Oh, Bear. Bear, bye. Sleeping on his pawpaw shoes. Oh, Texarkana. We're headed there. We love all of y'all. God bless everybody. Have a blessed day. And we'll see you come Friday night. The roots of pro wrestling are deep in the Shreveport community. I've heard that. The, for the Mid-South wrestling, I've heard that. All right, we'll see y'all later. You see the butt of the truck? I'm going to turn you around so you can say bye to me. Bye! <laughs> see you later. <laughs>